Hey everybody, I'm here to tell you about the new golf ball cannon that I just assembled. This is a 500 yard version. It will shoot 500 yard groups at 80 psi pretty much all day long and uh, very consecutively. So the thing is about 7 feet long, uh, kind of long, but by the time you get everything together, it will be. So going through some of the stuff here. On the back, there is a uh, standard quick disconnect air fitting. Just take the air hose from your compressor and put it on. Got a quarter inch turn ball valve to uh, pressurize the tank. Shut it off when you get the tank to the desired pressure. Tank itself is four inch schedule 80 PVC. Uh, the pipe is about 20 inches long before the fittings got glued on. On the other end of the tank here, there's a four inch coupling. And inside that 4-inch coupling, on the other side, there's a somewhat custom machined PVC insert that allows you to get two 1-inch pipes side by side and a pressure gauge out of that 4-inch coupling. It was machined from solid PVC bar stock, uh, not too expensive, not too hard to find. There's even some uh, 5 16 alloy dowel pins, so I don't have to re rely entirely on that glue bond holding that pressure inside that tank. So the pins are glued in. In four, pressed in in four places and a um, little added insurance there. It's a lot of pressure, it's a little bit scary. In the center here you've got uh, two Rainbird DV100 one inch sprinkler valves. They've been modified internally to uh, allow the air to come out of them a lot quicker. Over here you got a cheapy blowgun. This is your trigger. Press that trigger and your golf ball is gone. So I put a, also put a couple of uh, quick disconnect unions in here and uh, that way you can service the valves in case you ever had to replace one. Also this thing being seven feet long it's a quick way to disassemble it, break it down, put it in the trunk of your car if you gotta take it somewhere. So also a liquid fuel pressure gauge uh, kinda nice cause you're gonna shock this thing a lot so get an oil fill gauge and uh, it'll last forever. So down here on the other side, you've got a similar type custom machine fitting to get those 1 inch pipes back into a standard 4 inch uh, fitting. So pinned same way. Not as much pressure on this side, but I put the pins in anyway. Got a 4x2 reducer. The barrel itself is 2 inch Schedule 80 PVC. It's about 40, 40 inches long, I guess, where I remember cutting it at. In order to get that uh, golf ball to fit perfectly, uh, this pipe is lined with inch and a half SDR 26 real thin wall PVC sprinkler pipe and you can get it just about anywhere so getting it in there is a little tricky it took me about an hour using some lightweight oil and a sledgehammer but you can get it in there just be patient with it make it a little bit longer because your ends are going to get beat up and uh, you'll have to trim it off to get nice clean ends when you're finished now you'll notice I made this whole thing out of schedule 80 PVC do not use Schedule 40 PVC, the white stuff. Don't be a pussy. Pony up and buy the good fittings. Unless you like picking PVC shrapnel out of your neck when your air tank explodes, feel free to use the white stuff. Okay, we're back. It's a beautiful morning out here on the greens. Perfect morning for launching some golf balls. There isn't really anybody out here yet, just some joggers and uh, some ducks. One thing about the golfers, as soon as the sun comes up, they come out just like cockroaches do at night, so we'll get all this done before they get here. Okay, we're all set up here. I had some time to finish putting together the tripod mount. Real simple design made out of some U-bolts and uh, some aluminum rail. I put some quick disconnects on it, so if you just loosen those red knobs right there, the launcher just lifts right off. The tripod itself is an old vintage tilt all uh, these were built real well, all aluminum construction, uh, gives you some great capabilities for locking it into place and some pan and tilt features also. So I've already got my air hose connected to the back here, runs all the way around the house to my compressor. And uh, up front here I made this really fast and dirty camera mount which I'm going to mount this camera to and we're going to get some shots of the launch. Okay, here we go. We're going to take this noodle right here. I'm going to drop it into the barrel, let it roll all the way to the bottom. already got about 80, uh, 85 PSI in the tank. Now when the videotape is only going to catch like one or two frames of this. So here we go. One, two, three. 
that is gone. So anyway, nice thing about having the air hose connected to the back of the launcher. You can put another one in real quick. Put some more air in the tank. Fill it back up here. And here we go. Three, two, one. That's it.